guys, today's video is about blanket affirmations. I think this might have been requested by someone or someone asked me a question recently under one of my videos about blanket overall general affirmations. So I want to go over that today. It's something and a type of affirmation that I haven't discussed, I think, in my manifestation videos. And it's also something I occasionally discuss with my clients and suggest to them to use it if I find that it's relevant. So I'm gonna give you guys a few examples of where and why these type of affirmations could be really beneficial, how to use them, some good examples. So do stay tuned if you're interested. Thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time one of my new manifestation videos comes out, which is multiple times a week minimum, sometimes every single day. So yeah, we'd really, really appreciate it. We're all, we're, well, we're on the way to 3000, which is amazing and exciting. So yeah, I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you're interested in getting more personalized help, getting some one-on-one -on -one advice from me, then check out my Instagram below. I just updated it for all my kind of coaching information. It's LOA Coaching. And yeah, just get in touch with me if you're interested. So let's just get started. So mainly today I have written down a, co a couple of um, suggestions of context in which to use bl blanket affirmations. So kind of give examples of, you know, if you're feeling this or going through this or your life is kind of in this state at the moment, then th it could work for you. So first point is that if you're not sure what you want, you're a little confused or maybe unclear, even if it comes to an SP, you know, any manifestation, if you're not quite sure what exactly you want, go more general. Just so affirm something very general and positive words like perfect, amazing, um, you know, exactly what I want, in a perfect way, better than I expected. Words like that, that imply something really positive, but you're not getting super specific. So yeah, if you're not sure what you want, it's good to just go very general because obviously then you're still gonna manifest the positive outcome, but it's like your own subconscious mind and life itself and manifestation process just kind of figures out for you what it's gonna be. Next point is that if you don't have time, um, to affirm or you're not really sure what you want to affirm for and yeah you're just kind of like strapped for time and you're not really able to commit to a really long affirmation like looping your affirmations for a really long time every day then you can go really general and that will kind of cover you know several areas of your life if not everything or your entire appearance or you know your entire mental health and happiness or whatever you can go really really general like i'm extremely happy and obviously then positive things will manifest so if you don't have time to get more specific get down to the details and loop those do a blanket one which covers everything um, also if you're extremely stressed out and like i said in a confused state your mind is just really unclear your you know, you're not motivated, you feel mentally exhausted, you're stressed out, then it's really good to just go really general because then you don't even need to focus your mind on it. You don't need to stress yourself out with details about your SP, your career, your financial situation. You can just literally say, I have all the money in the world. I'm extremely happy. Um, you know, SP is the perfect person for me in every way. You're going really general with that. You're literally just saying that they're perfect. So you don't have to get down to details. Like, you know, if, it, if you're trying, if you're really struggling with your old story, like SP cheated on you, you don't need to get into the, that wording or the details. You can just say, SP is perfect, SP is perfect, everything is perfect, my life is perfect. And just kind of start from there and it will probably help you feel a lot better just because it automatically like mentally affects you in a positive way when you use positive wording. But also because you're going so general, you'll just see these really unexpected positive um, experiences and positive movement. So if you feel like you're trying to manifest a lot of things, and I've seen this with my clients where I do recommend not stretching your mental focus and patience too thin. Um, I do say try and limit it to a certain number of topics and give certain affirmation recommendations uh, to my clients because you know it's not really physically possible to get 15 topics manifested within a month you know, with perfect results, it's just unrealistic. It's not impossible, but it's just unrealistic that you'll even have the time every day to put in enough focus on each topic for them all to manifest at once. So yeah, if you do have a lot of things, you know, your appearance, career, money, friendship, relationships, 
um, your dream car, your dream house, like whatever it is, all these different things that you're trying to manifest, go more blank, go more general, do a blanket affirmation. That is usually the best solution. Also on the other end of the spectrum, if you feel like your life is falling apart, I kind of touched upon this already about feeling like, you know, not mentally well in, uh, in terms of being able to focus on your affirmations and manifestations. And you feel like things in your life have just gone to shit. Uh, you're not doing well, you're not feeling great, things, yeah, just not ideal at all, go really, really general because then your mind isn't even consciously thinking about the problems. You're just saying it, my life is perfect. My life is perfect. My life is perfect. It doesn't really mean anything in relation to your problems. You're not saying, you know, I've never been in debt. I've never been in debt. I've never been in debt because then you are actually still folk. It is a good affirmation, but if you're not doing well mentally, in terms of like being able to focus mentally and you're just feeling really down and upset and stressed out about your situation, you feel like life is not going well at the moment, you probably don't want to focus on that wording. It might hold you into, might hold you in a little bit more resistance and if you just go more general, it might release your stress levels in the moment. Another um, area it's really great to use a blank affirmation is for a mental diet. So again, if you're just in the moment, you don't have to, I do always recommend, you know, using an affirmation or flipping into the opposite, but you can also just use something really general. Like if you start panicking about your SP, you can just flip it into, isn't it wonderful SP loves me? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it just so wonderful? SP loves me. Or you can say, if you start worrying about finances, you can say, my life is perfect. My life is completely perfect. My life is completely perfect. You don't even have to go into the wording of, I've never been in debt. I have so much money. You can just say, my life is perfect. So that's another example. I've written down a few more. I am completely perfect. Isn't it wonderful? I get everything I want. Any of those work as really good blank affirmations because there's no detail in them, but they obviously imply a really positive outcome and like whatever in your life is just completely flawless. It's also good to use these and loop them within your self-concept. So like I said, I am completely perfect. It's a blank affirmation about you as a person. So to me that implies complete perfection means mentally and physically you're just doing really well. You look and feel perfect, right? So it kind of covers everything. So in your self-concept, you can add in something like, I am completely perfect. I am just perfection. And it should pretty much cover a number of different areas or insecurities that you have about yourself and kind of over time gradually help in all of them. Whereas, you know, like I said, if you don't have time to affirm, but you still want to do self-concept work, you can say something like, I'm perfect. Finally, if you are trying to improve your overall life, like I said, you have tons and tons of topics, but you just want your whole life to get like a makeover and glow up, then you can literally just use words like perfect, um, everything I want, manifesting everything instantly. Phrases like that, that kind of cover everything and are super general. Um, so improving your mental health overall. If you just really want one specific area of your life to improve in every way, like your entire physical appearance to just get a massive glow up, or your mental health to completely improve and get rid of any mental health issues. You just, it's better to just go more general. I'd recommend you implement some kind of blanket affirmation that is super general and covers all of it. And of course, for your life, you can say, my life is perfect. So it covers everything in your life. And as I said, it should over time help in several different areas of your life, should help you as well mentally feel better and feel more confident and calm and balanced. But that is my advice for blank affirmations. I hope it was helpful and made sense and maybe gave you guys some new suggestions for affirmations. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you have a massive list of manifestations. This is a good way to implement it and test out blank affirmations. So do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you'd like to see more of these videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.